it's, it's very worrisome because uh, they've managed to counterfeit one of the, the main fraud prevention um, tools that's built into the license. All it took was a few minutes, a few hundred dollars, and the ABC 15 investigators scored some pretty realistic looking fake IDs. Now, this is more than an amateur operation targeting college kids who want to drink. ABC 15 investigator Joe Ducey got these IDs from China, and tonight he's revealing new threats to your personal information and national security. That one you think's fake? Yeah, I'd get, definitely get a second opinion on that one. When you think of fake IDs, you probably think of this. How many of these do you think you look at every night? Upper like 50 to 100. Underage drinkers trying to get into a bar. Last year alone, Tempe police picked up more than 2,000 fake IDs here along Mill Avenue. But the ABC 15 investigators found the world of fake IDs goes well beyond the Tempe bar scene. They're easy to get and not at places you would think, on the street or on campus. We found them in China on this website. Driver's licenses from Arizona and 17 other states. Just fill in the information, pick a birth date, and upload your pictures. For this story, we bought two IDs, wired $200 for each one to a place in China. Within a few days, our fake IDs arrived. Now, it might be hard to tell from the outside because to get this package through customs, the licenses were hidden here underneath this bookmark. And this one thinks real. Yeah. Back to Kirk, the bartender, he couldn't tell our ID was fake. This one is for Marissa, an ABC 15 intern. She's 19. The ID says she's 22. Yeah, they're really, really good. Yeah, especially in a state like Arizona with border issues and other security concerns, um, it's extremely troubling. Security experts told us these fakes are so good, they can be used for more than just buying beer. So we took our investigation a step further. You know this guy, ABC 15 anchor Steve Irvin, and I'm Joe Ducey. We ordered an ID with my picture and put Steve's name on it. We did it with Steve's blessing and had a little fun with it, but this is serious stuff. Using another's identity is a felony. Oh, I don't want to use the word impressed, but I mean, they're, they're, they're very, uh, uh, they're very well done. We showed the fake IDs to Arizona Department of Public Safety yeah, Officer Carrick Cook. It is a scary uh, scenario. Cook says the IDs are so good, even when you swipe the black stripe on the back of the counterfeit IDs from China, it matches the information on the front. This gets you through the door. Edward Goodman is a security expert with Identity Theft 911. He says these fakes can get a criminal pretty far. Especially if you're doing an in-person transaction to try and get credit. Uh, again, uh, buying a used car, new car, buying you know furniture, things like that. But the potential for crime does not end there. There would definitely be a national security. Uh, concern. What if I was on the no-fly list, kept off planes for terrorism reasons? With this ID, I have a different name, with my height and weight, and even a hidden state seal. That's what TSA checks with their black lights. It's very worrisome because uh, they've managed to counterfeit one of the, the main fraud prevention um, tools that's built into the license. This is really one of the, the, the prime features that TSA is looking for. The Arizona Department of Transportation tells us they are aware of the problem. The agency is working with federal and other state law enforcement authorities in sharing of intelligence. I think a lot of people would pass it off as being legitimate. So what does TSA think about these fake IDs? You probably want to know. We did too. They're not commenting about it. now. Arizona driver's license are popular counterfeits, and officials say one of the reasons may be because of their long expiration date, up to 30 years, and that would take a legislative act to change. Now, because it's a felony to use these IDs, we're not going to take any chances, and we are going to uh, cut them up. And Joe, if it is a felony, how did we not break the law by then having these made? Well, actually, they're sold as, uh, as novelties, and it's not a felony to buy them. It is a felony to use them or have an intent to use them, and we did not. Now, we want people to go to abc15.com slash investigators to let us know what you think about this, and we have a link there to check your credit to make sure that you're not a victim of ID theft. Reporting live, Joe Ducey, ABC 15 News.